South Florida is now called the dope smuggling capital of the country. In the mid-70s, there was a move to legalize marijuana. 13 million Americans use marijuana regularly. At a House hearing today, the Carter administration favored easing the penalties they face for that use. We thought it was going to be legalized, and if we were going to make money, now was the time to do it. I never saw the name Black Tuna till I was indicted. We never knew we were the Black Tuna gang. You know, the government has to put a label on everything if they're going to get a lot of publicity out of it. What we called ourselves were the fishing fools because we used to fish tournaments. I was a pitchman and someone came up to me, someone in the pitch business, and said to me, Bobby, I've been driving loads from Florida in the wintertime when there's no work in the pitch business. If I can sell some, I can make a lot more money. Do you know anybody who can take 1,500 pounds? I said, yeah, I think I do. Eventually, we had more customers than we had access to marijuana, and the next step was to become a smuggler. Each of us wanted to make $1 million, and we were done. And that's exactly what happened. Over a year after we quit, we were indicted on a conspiracy indictment. The DEA and FBI alleged we did up to three million pounds, maybe more. The truth is well under 100,000 pounds. When the judge sentenced me to 64 years, I was already in my middle late 30s and I said, Your Honor, I don't know if I can do that much time if I'll live that long. He said, well, just do what you can. You always hold out hope that you're going to win an appeal. And I had appeals going virtually until the day I got out. And when I got out, I filed the suit. High Times has really been fabulous to me. They've taken me everywhere. I've shared their table and, and I've written for them and been paid for it. And I just came from the Cannabis Cup in Denver. They screened the movie. It just, they wouldn't stop clapping and, and they loved it. And I was mobbed for three days. And uh, I'm a lucky guy. Why should I look back and be bitter? I can look forward and, and know that I'm 68, but I'm going to enjoy what time I can. Mm -hmm.